gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to, that's right, Chris TV, right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to Chris TV for more vlogs like this, and share it to all your friends, your family, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, your cousins, your primos, your primas, your compadres, comadres, mothers, fathers, everybody, you name it. With that being said, guys, we are here going live to UFC 227 for the TJ Dillashaw versus Cody Garbrandt rematch. It's going to be really, really good live from the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. Man, I can't wait. It's going to be one of the best days, you know. This is a match that I'm really looking forward to. You know, these guys fought back last year in like November at Madison Square Garden. And man, TJ Dillashaw beat him. And hopefully, I'm going for TJ Dillashaw tonight. Hopefully, TJ Dillashaw beats Cody Garbrandt, man. But TJ Dillashaw, he's not going to get embarrassed by no um, Team Alpha Male. But yeah, with that being said, guys, I am on my way. I'm driving from Riverside County, um, you know, a small city named Lake Elsinore. I'm a, I live about an hour and a half away from the Staples Center. We should be arriving in like, what, like, no. I'm, I'm assuming like... 30 ish and probably just gonna go out there see if any of you subscribers are over there I'm gonna meet you guys or you know if there's any fighters out there doing meets and greets I might as well meet them as well so with that being said see you guys on the road so, of course you know that if you live in Southern California you gotta deal with the Southern California traffic every single day in the Lou St. Louis Angels, Los Angeles. Look at the beautiful buildings in Los Angeles, California. We're out here in the Lou, St. Louis. Out on Olympic Boulevard. Trying to head over to Figueroa Street for the Staples Center. Whoa, this car just cut me off without even putting his blinkers off. Here we go, guys. We're out here live from the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California, baby. So much traffic here. All right, guys. Just found parking, man. Man, I'm not going to pay. Thank you. I'm not trying to pay like $40 just for parking close to next to the stable center. So I just drove like a mile away and found some cheap parking, like $5. I'm not going to be paying like $40 when I can just walk, you know, or Uber it for like $3, you know. But yeah, we're here. Excited, man. Can't wait. Can't wait to see the UFC fight. This is my second UFC fight. My first UFC fight was at the Honda Center for UFC 214. It was like last year in June, 2006. 17 i don't know a long time ago like just 12 months ago not even a long time ago but yeah guys i'm gonna be vlogging throughout the whole day remember right here on chris tv i get you guys the first hand experience on every single thing you name it we're out here on top of some buildings man checking out downtown la before we head to the staples center man. really nice you know nice hot sunny day up here it's kind of windy up here so that's what i like about it it's not as sunny as it would be down there, high up in the clouds. Imagine I dropped my phone, that would suck. All right. Floor number, I think it's this one. So while I go down on the elevator, I'm gonna give you guys my little predictions. So how the main event's gonna go, I'm predicting, I hope they go to five rounds. It was awkward because I was doing my predictions and someone came inside the elevator and saw me vlogging. They are like, what are you doing? <laughs> no, but yeah, guys, basically what I was saying before I got rudely interrupted, um, my predictions is that they're gonna go to, go to five rounds. Hopefully they do, because they are both great fighters. I like Garbrandt, don't get me wrong. I just like uh, TJ Dillashaw more. But yeah, if they go to five rounds, um, I think Dillashaw's gonna win. And hopefully they do. I don't wanna see a first round knockout or anything. You know, I paid a lot of money for this only to get a 
uh, like quick main event, it'd be cool to see a long, nice fight. So yeah. And then for the co-main event, which is gonna be uh, Demetrius Johnson versus, ah, uh, I forget his name. But yeah, I think Demetrius Johnson's gonna win. And hopefully we get TJ Dillashaw versus um, Demetrius Johnson. I know Demetrius Johnson's being a scary cat and doesn't want to take the fight, but that's a fight to make. That's a fight I want to see. Um, you know, it's going to be a super fight. TJ versus DJ. Hopefully it happens though. Brian Ortega. Brian Ortega. It's crazy, guys. So I was walking and then I see a black Jeep. Like, it's really nice. And I see that it's Brian Ortega, the guy that was, that was supposed to fight last month versus Max Holloway. Yeah, he was on the freaking black Jeep. I was gonna say what's up to him, but he was already driving off with his fat, like loud music, so I don't think he'd hear me. But yeah, it's cool. I think we're gonna see more fighters right now. Reunited <laughs> again. Doing, man? I know, man. Hey guys, out here in the Lou St. Louis. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> for the main event. My prediction for the main event? Yeah. Hopefully somebody gets knocked out. <laughs> very stylish, very flashy style or some yeah. shit. It's gonna be good. You're an IHOP then. Keep it healthy, man. All right, guys, we're heading to the arena with Ivan over here. Hey, what are your predictions? I don't know, man. I'm just excited. Dude. Who's going to win? Um, TJ or Cody Garbrandt? Cody. No, it's going to be TJ, it's man. Be Cody. TJ's going to knock him out pick. in the fourth round. I hope they go all five, five rounds. Five rounds would be pretty sick. Yeah. I don't know if you guys remember him. He was at WrestleMania 34. He was on Bourbon Street. <laughs> all right. I feel like there's already a lot of people. Maybe some. Man, we're like on top of the whole staple center outside just chilling in the little balcony. What's that? This place is pretty safe. Going down here, what's that? Ivan right here, man. He wants to jump off this. Oh. Uh -huh. What the heck? The, the premium stuff for the, the rich people. Alright guys, it's about to start. I can say give it about two minutes. Let's go, man. UFC 227, here we go. So in the video they show before the pay-per-view starts. So that means we're about to start that campaign.
All right, guys, it's time for the co-main event. It's gonna be Henry Cajudo versus DJ. Hopefully, DJ loses. If not, I, I want to see DJ versus TJ next year. Oh, man, it's gonna be good. The co-main event. Yo, so we're at round five, and oh my gosh, Henry's actually beating DJ one more round. If he doesn't knock out, I think we might have a new, um, what do you call, it? new champion, 125. Man, it's gonna be good. We'll see you right now. Henry, Henry, Henry. Guys, they're about to announce who's gonna win. It's either gonna be uh, DJ or Henry. It's gonna be interesting after five rounds. Garbrandt and 
shocking results, man, in the first round. Now it looks like it's gonna be Henry versus TJ. That's gonna be pretty good, man. Really good fight. Conor McGregor is going to fight on the 6th of October in Las Vegas. I think I might go to that just to vlog, man. It's going to be pretty sick. Are you inside the Staples Center? Outside the Staples Center is nice. It's nice in the night time. Staples Center in the night, bro. It looks nice out here. Live from the Loom, St. Louis. We're out here live from the DTL Lane, downtown LA. Alright guys, so that's my vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my adventure to UFC 227. It was such a great night. Um, you know, with that being said though, if you guys want me want to see more vlogs like this, make sure to subscribe to Chris TV. Press that subscribe button right down below this video. Make sure to also follow me on social media. I go a lot more on Instagram than on Twitter. So follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the links down below. I'll also put my Twitter in case you also go on Twitter. But yeah, uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. But more on Instagram, okay, guys, for more pictures, more, you know, up, up and coming vlogs and events about my you know adventures here on chris tv remember guys i get you guys a first hand experience on every single thing you name it with that being said guys peace